Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Sushant. I'm calling from Delhi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good speak, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so, uh, so could you start with a brief introduction about? Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, I did my B Tech in 2014. From 2014 to till I have around three and a half years of experience in SaaS and SaaS based macros, Access, Graph, ODS, SQL, statistics, etc. Currently, I'm working for three A Infotech for the client of ICICI Groups. So here I work for two projects. One is for ICICI Bank, another one is for ICICI Securities. In ICICI Securities, what is my roles and responsibilities means? Every day between three uh, nine thirty to three thirty, whatever the trading is happening in the market, the trading data will be stored into National Stock Exchange server, Bombay Stock Exchange server. At the end of the day, National Stock Exchange and Bombay Stock Exchange will segregate the data on each broker company wise, and they'll send it to the brokerage companies. Like that, my ICIC securities people will get the data from NSE, BSE through Notepad. Then my DBA people will load the data into database. So this data, so I have to. Extract into SAS, and I have to perform the data management, data analysis, and I have to generate some reports like team-wise turnover and brokerage, channel-wise turnover and brokerage, sub-broker-wise turnover and trader summaries, channel-wise inverse and NCA report, uh, accounts opening report, closed accounts report, non-trader, active trader, stop trader reports, etc. In another project, I am working for ICIC Bank. So there, I work for the loans. There, what was my work means? Uh, every day, almost around. 15 to 20 thousand customers apply the loan in my bank. When customer apply the loan in the bank, bank won't give the loan at the moment. There is some loan approval process. Customer has to fulfill the application form. Then bank people will check the credit score from the CBL. If CBL score is good, then they'll go for document collection, document verification. If verification is success, they'll approve the loan. In this process, I've had around 15 to 20 thousand customers are applying the loan in my bank. For that data, I have to perform the ETL process and I have to generate some reports like. Leading indicator reports, decline reason reports, deviation reason reports. Same way for collection data, I have to generate some collection reports like collection flow report, collection productivity report, check bonus rate report, early performance basis report like this. So in this process, exactly what is my roles and responsibilities means? I'm getting the requirement from my ABP. Then I'm analyzing the requirement for understanding the business concept, like which task is allocating me, what is the purpose of the task, what is the template of the task, what is the business logic of the task. I have to understand by reading the requirement document or by taking the help from business analyst. Then I have to understand the data part from uh, DBA people or design document. Like to generate that particular uh, task, which database we are using, in that which tables we are using, in that which columns, what are the attributes of those columns. So those I have to understand. So then I am extracting the data from database or flat files to SAS by using the SAS data set programming or by using SQL Path to query. So once I extract the data from database to SAS. By applying different SAS transformations, I am performing the data management like validation, scrubbing, normalization, denormalization, structuring, summarizing, integration, etc. And I am performing some intermediate SAS data sets. Then those SAS intermediate data sets I am using for data analysis using various procedures like PROC print, PROC report, PROC tabulate, PROC mean, PROC frequency, etc. And generating some reports. Then those reports I am converting to client required reporting format like HTML and PDF. Uh, or excel sometimes using odes concepts so now whatever the code i develop that code i am taking to testing environment and i am testing the program to identify correctness and completeness of the program on various test cases wise like data values wise decimal values wise order wise formatting wise yeah. look and feel wise execution time wise etc if all test cases run so uh, so, so let me just uh, sorry to interrupt so i yes. just wanted to understand so how do you get the data from the client yeah for one to, project uh, yeah for one project i use completely oracle and sybase database that time we can uh, use the sql pass to query to import it another project we use some flat files also for that we can do the data set programming okay okay all right so uh, so how do you import the data uh, uh, from the flat file Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? Sorry, can you repeat your question, please? How do you import the data from uh, the flat file into SAS? Yeah, by using data set programming, by using in-file statement and input statement. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, 
space, suppose I have a data set which, which contains the names of all the employees in the company. Okay. okay. And I want to specifically extract the last three letters from all the names. Yes. So how can I do that? Uh, in this case, I can use uh, suppose new name is equal to the best year of name comma length of name minus two comma three. Okay. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that once again? Yeah. So I am taking a new name is equal to hmm? the best year of hmm? name as a string hmm? comma length of name minus two as a position comma hmm. 3 as a length length of name minus 2 so first I can find out the length of name from that I can do minus 2 comma 3 so it will select each last three letters of every name clear hello Uh, the, the letter n is in the third place, right? Sorry. So I want Ganesh to be extracted. Yeah. Uh, so, so similarly, all the names where the third letter is n, I want uh, those names to be extracted. Okay. You want wherever the third letter is n, you want to extract that. Yeah. You want to select that names, no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In this case, I can write where I can use in the data step where name like uh -huh. underscore underscore n percentage. Okay, okay, all right. Um, say suppose I have a uh, vertical data set and the observations are uh, 3, 2, 6, 9, 4 and 5. Okay. 3, 2, 6, 9, 4 and 5. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to reverse this data set. Yeah. So this I can do in two methods. One thing, first I can create a uh, new variable called row number. Then I can sort that into the uh, based on row number by descending order. This is one yeah. method. Second method, what I can do, I can write the do loop. I can write do uh, i is equal to n o b s two one by minus one. Data data set name do i is equal to uh, n o b s two one by minus one semicolon set existing data set point is equal to i n o b s is equal to n o b s output stop and run. Okay. Uh, have you uh, used a single trailing in your yes. programming anyway? Yes, yes. Okay, so yes. similarly what is the use of uh, a double trailing? Uh, yeah, so a single trailing is useful to hold the input record for the execution of same record. Double yeah. trailing is useful to hold the input record for the execution of across records. It means, uh, across records means when our raw data value is having multiple records in single line. To read the data properly, we can use double training. Okay. okay. And uh, what do we use? Uh, double ampersand. If I use double ampersand, what what will happen? Yeah. So yeah, as we have single ampersand and double ampersand. If it is a single variable, both are same. Maybe it's like ampersand x or double ampersand x, both are same. But we will take one more variable along with. Suppose if I use ampersand x, ampersand y, or double ampersand x ampersand y. That case there is a difference. When I use ampersand x ampersand y, first y will resolve, then x will resolve. Sorry, okay. first x will resolve, then y will resolve. When I use double ampersand x ampersand y, first y resolve, then that value will add to the double ampersand x and that will be resolved. Okay. Um, so, so, say suppose, uh, have you worked on the Joints. Yes. What is the difference between a full outer join and a left outer join? Yeah. When you perform the left outer join, the output data set contains all the records from left table and matching records from right table. Okay. But when you perform full join, output data set contains all the records, means all the by group observations from all the data sets. Say suppose I have two tables, okay? Yes. And uh, the table A contains uh, three variables and uh, table uh, B contains four variables. Yeah. And in both the tables, two uh, two variables are similar. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, what, which join should I use so that uh, I get only the common values between the, between both the tables? 
yeah common records we need to select it means we have to perform the inner join inner join yeah okay so in that case what, how many variables will be there at the end yeah output should contain totally 1 2 3 4 5 variables will come five variables but you said one, uh, two, three, i want only the common uh, thing right so you ask the common uh, observations na yeah i have suppose first table i have ABC, yeah first table i have abc column second table i have ab de columns in this case output will get abc de but we are selecting the matching observations to get the matching observations we have to use the inner join okay uh, how do you debug the macro yeah uh generally when we write the program if we follow few simple things we can avoid the errors like first we have to write a base hash program without bugs then we have to add percentage macro and percentage main statements then we have to apply one macro feature at a time until program complete successfully in this case we can avoid the errors till if any problems is there we can use some macro debugging options like m error s error m print m logic symbol gen etc can you uh, reduce the file size uh, just the uh, Yeah. What are the operations that you can perform to reduce a particular file size? To to reduce the size of table, na? The size of data set. Yeah. So we data have the compress global option. Compress is equal to s. Okay. Any other you can think of? Any uh, other way? We can remove some by using compress function. Also, is there by using compress function, we can remove some characters which we don't want. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you transpose a data set without using a proc transpose? Yeah, without using proc transpose, we need to transpose it. So through arrays, we can transpose that. Hello. Yeah. Is that right? I mean, what what will you do? Uh, give me the uh, logic. So, how uh, what is the logic with uh, behind here? Uh, without proc transpose, uh, by using arrays with data set, we can transpose it. So, the code if I want, I'm not getting exactly. I did this previously. So I can write here. Code I'm not remembering exactly, but by using arrays, we can uh, transpose it. Okay. All right. Never mind. Uh, right. So I'm pretty much done with my set of questions. Uh, uh, just wanted to ask uh, a few things. So, uh, what is your notice period right now? Is actually official notice period is two months, but I can manage in a month. Yeah. Okay. And uh, hello. Yeah. What is your current CTC? Four and a half lakh. Okay, and what's your expectation? Six lakhs. Okay, all right. All right. So, is there any uh, question that you have for me? Me, you know, like what is the nature of work? Which SaaS products you are using? Okay, so, so, so basically, we are looking for an Australian uh, insurance client. Okay. And uh, the nature of work would include about thirty percent of your capacity will be towards. Uh, scheduled uh, behavior reports and okay. 70% percent will be uh, catering to various ad hoc requests and uh, yeah, project uh, development yes okay because we are now also doing the same kind of now the first okay. half i have to use the supporting for existing reports and the second half we have to develop the ad hoc development okay so uh, yeah so uh, that's great so basically we are uh, in the process of phasing out our behavior reports so that 100% percent of the capacity is utilized You know, towards uh, ad hoc, but that's three months down the line. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, in a nutshell uh, what we need to do, and uh, uh, the technology that we are using as uh, SAS, SQL, and some things also use Tableau and uh, okay, uh, you know, Redshift and also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is basically in a nutshell what we do here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, my dear, it was working. It was a lovely thing to you. So, I will pass on the feedback to the HR, and they will get back to you. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.